Hi guys, welcome back to Life is Strange, uh, part 6 now, I think. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. And get a burger. Good thing I don't have a car. Yet. Who toilet papers a bike? The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Damn, somebody is seriously devoted to putting up these posters. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Juliet still looks upset about Zack and Victoria. I don't blame her. Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexed Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Yo, Max! Check it out! And there's Warren. Did he actually buy a used car? What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? No, I've been way too busy with class. And life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Not at all. Sensitive is good, unless you're a pushover. You have hip taste and a quick mind. Thanks for noticing, Max. The right girl will too. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? 
I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you saw. Now! Answer me, bitch! What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh man, you're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore Wait, in the no. bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren! Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Me. Nobody! There's no way I can walk to the town from... Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but... I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Give me a break. I was going through changes. Like you. I guess those changes included dumping me from your life. That's not true, Chloe. Bullshit. You thought you hooked up with all these art pricks in Seattle. Didn't happen, though. You're merciless. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. that one in a while not everything changes except my camera has officially taken a shit my step douche has a boatload of tools maybe you can fix it at my place i need very specific tiny tools nerd alert my stepdad has a fully stocked garage and he actually is a tiny tool welcome home max Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home.
My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on the music while I medicate. Damn, Chloe does need a lot of money to get out of Arcadia. I wonder what Chloe keeps in here. Look at that. Chloe and her dad were so close. Hey, that TV used to be in the living room. Now, let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. So it was Chloe who printed all those flyers. Is this a desk or a storage space? I think this junk swallowed her desks. She looks super happy. Old cardboard boxes. <gasps> Dude, you broke my glass snow dough. Thanks. Damn. Chloe was kicked out of Blackwell two years ago. She used to be a great student. When she cared. This postcard is from Rachel Ember. Man, I remember this furniture. We spent all day painting it blue. Chloe loved that blue. We had such a blast drawing these together. Oh, this is a flashback to youth. Our super secret closet lair. Chloe totally changed her style. I barely recognized her. Chloe was always taller than me. We made her dad keep track of her height. Nothing but junk in this suitcase. Hey, give me that! Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Yeah, I put them up. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. 
She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. What about her parents? Are they looking for her? They're in denial. Max, I know she's missing. I assume you know more than that. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Hard to believe Chloe was my BFF just five years ago. Okay, Chloe, a metal box under the bed equals secret. Anyway, you can find tools to fix your camera in the garage. Chloe, are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to blaze and be alone for a moment. You can't go home again, said Thomas Wolfe, but... Here I am. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. This must be Chloe's parents' room. Man, I am nosy today. Uh-oh. The prices are late on their bills. Joyce looks happy. Chloe's stepdad might not be a douchebag after all. Joyce still works at the diner. Is her husband a cop? Poor Chloe. Act, react, or die. A 21st century survival guide. Whoa, apocalypse... Dog tags, sweet. David Matson. Joyce always loved her mail order catalogs of useless crap. Oh, Joyce has a little shrine to William. Her new husband may not be such a douche. These books have not been touched since the last decade. I see why. Doesn't look like the Price family is rolling in dough these days. Now this is the Chloe I remember, always smiling and laughing, not so much anymore.
Joy still works at Two Wheels Diner. Best damn burgers in Arcadia. I better get one soon. I'd love to go to Paris, too. At this rate, they'll be lucky to get to Portland. Yum, that looks tasty. I do miss Joyce's cooking. If I took this picture, the deer would be standing on your ass. I should be able to find the tools I need here. Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the school? How paranoid can you get? Chloe's stepdad is a veteran and a security guard? He must really hate her. Hmm. One of these guns is missing. I hope Chloe's stepdad isn't packing heat. Yes! Score! These are way too big. I need tiny tools for that camera. This must belong to Chloe's stepdad. No password. Like it would help me find tools anyway. I wonder what's in those files up there. Shit! Butterfingers! Kate Marsh? Why the hell would he have pictures of her? Okay, this is getting totally weird. Look at all that food. That's like enough spam for a hundred years. Check out the muscle car. Chloe's stepdad must be a gearhead. Nothing. This is so lame. A map of Blackwell Academy. I wonder why. Should I switch this on? Decision. What the? Chloe's stepdad actually installed cameras in the rooms? For reals? This guy has serious trust issues. Do Chloe and Joyce even know about this? Chloe's stepdad is head of security at Blackwell. He wants to put surveillance cameras all over the... Chloe's stepdad is a veteran and a security guard? He must really hate her. Chloe, if 
you're listening. Pete was cruising home off duty and told me he saw you near that garbage dump. Now I've ordered... Told you to stay away from that place. It's dangerous. And you got no idea what kind of scum are living out there. Stay away. I'm serious. Nope. Someone locked it from the other side. No need to go there now. I can feel autumn pushing out the summer. Oh, I loved this swing. William made it just for me and Chloe. We made this grave for Chloe's kitty. Poor Bongo. He never saw that car coming. William used to grill awesome burgers for us. I wonder if he was the last one to use this. want to do when you grow up. Max, I'm already grown up. What about you? Travel. That would be awesome. Explore the world, go far from here. Far from me? Thanks a lot, dude. Dude, you would totally come with me. I need a bodyguard for our adventures. I would be like Lara Croft, except real. That would be majorly cool. Totally. We'd have cars and boats and planes all over for instant escape. And no adults could tell us what to do. Count me in. What would you do while I was bodyguarding you? Maybe take pictures of our adventures. I would love to be a photographer. As if I ever could be. What are you talking about? Max, you are a photographer. Your pictures could be in a museum. Someday they will. I believe in you. I guess they're aging, these books. Poor little dear. It's not enough to kill you, they have to display your head. Cool, now it's opened. These are way too big. I need to This is so... Catch it a bit. <laughs> 